Uh, this is my trip to Italy this year. I went with uh, Robbie and Carol joined us after a week. We stayed at Patty's place in Manalia. Here Robbie and I at BWI getting ready to take off and head to Italy. We would wake up early every morning and head down to the bakery and pick up some pastries, have a cappuccino at the local bar, and then we would head back up for breakfast. You can see uh, we would wake up early. It would still be dark out, but there was plenty of things to choose from at the Panificio. Plenty of pastries. We'd pick out whatever we wanted and take them back up the hill. Robbie's, Robbie's been, been awake for two hours, hours and it's 4.30 in the morning. morning. Sleep, Sleep is hard, hard to get. get. Sleep might have been hard to get, Sleep but later. the sun would come out and the day would start. So we would begin the day with a nice breakfast after we brought the pastries back up from town. You can see we would sit out there and plan the day's activities. Eating was a real treat. You can see Alessandro would prepare some great lunches or dinners for us. He wasn't the only one preparing meals. Patty also was working away in the kitchen and we ate great. Uh, one night we went to Giuseppe's, Alessandro's brother, for dinner and we had Chingali. Uh, we also had, uh, you can tell right there, some grappa. The first night we were there, we went to a terrateria up in the hills outside of Manalia. And you can see from left to right is Alessandro. There I am, Giuseppe, Alessandro's brother, Santina, Al Giuseppe's wife, Patty, Malena, Giuseppe's daughter, and Robbie. But, you know, we did come to work. And we did come to pick olives. We picked 1,264 pounds of olives. I figured it out. That is over 100,000 olives. You can see Patty's place, and we put the nets down under the olive trees. All right, here comes Robbie. He's carrying the last bucket of olives. It's been a long, long two days. You can see we put up all these nets. We knocked the olives off all these trees. We carried them up the hill and to the house. Alessandro is down there picking up the last couple of leaves. And we were successful in bringing the olive oil home. Here's our bottle that we brought home in the suitcase. And we did do some good playing while we were there. The first trip we took was up to the Piedmont area. We didn't have great weather. We had a lot of fog and therefore the pictures aren't great from the Piedmont area, but it is an amazing spot. All these hill towns and just the hills are just covered with uh, grapevines. And also this is a, where the guys get truffles. We can see we could wander along these small little streets in these little hill towns. We did go to this wine tasting place where this woman spent an hour and a half describing the various wines. You can see the vineyards were all over the uh, hillsides there. We did go to Barolo and tasted some great wine in the town of Barola. Here we are sitting in another little town named Asti where we uh, had a little uh, food and a little bit of drinks. You can see Patty's dog Pika joined us everywhere we went. This was a little piazza there. These were yeah, umbrellas yeah, that had plants La growing Marola. on top of them. I'm just showing you this. Because on a clear day, you can look out this direction and see the Alps. But obviously, it's a foggy day, and we can only see 200 feet. 
But in Liguria, the sun did come out. Robbie and I took a 40-minute train ride from Manalia to this town, Camogli. Actually, end of October, people were still swimming and walking along the streets. We were serenaded. We also did a lot of hiking. And uh, here's some signs, but the trails were not well marked. And we did manage to get lost a couple times. Here's Robbie coming back down the mountain. We got our walking sticks. Uh, this is at the top of the mountain. You can see where we had rain clouds going through. There's Robbie across at the top of the mountain and Manalia down in the valley. Uh, this was a sign. Patty said, take the road to trail to Baffy. We took the wrong trail. Took us an hour and a half. We're in a thunderstorm. These trails were turning into streams, but we did manage to make it. This is Sestri, the town where Alessandra was born. We did a lot of shopping in Sestri, down by the waterside. It's just beautiful. Sailboats out in the bay. Strolling along the streets, a lot of stores. Back in Manalia, the sun would come out every once in a while. There's the view from Patty's house. We, there are tiny, narrow streets in Manalia, a lot of little shops. They have pastry shops, they have bakeries, they have fisheries. Here's Robbie, Patty, and Carol, and Pika wandering along the streets. Here's Robbie and I on the uh, waterfront with Patty's house in the background up on the hill. Patty and Robbie, you can see the wind's blowing a little bit. And we finally got a clear day to hike Cinque Terre. So Robbie and I did that. This is in the town Venazza. This is where we started. We took the train to Venazza. And then we would hike up these hills. They had narrow trails, some of them pretty steep takes about two hours to walk from Venazza to Monte Rosa, which is there off in the distance. But this was a beautiful day for hiking. Not too hot, not too cold, sun shining. You had beautiful vistas all along the way while you're walking. This is just one picture towards Monte Rosa. Here's Robbie, here's what the trail looks like. This is probably the better part of the trail. A lot of it is up and down little bridge going over a stream. They've had a lot of difficulty in the last couple of years in Cinque Terre with uh, rains and uh, water slides and landslides. After Cinque Terre, we met Carol in Monte Rosa and took the ferry to the little town south of Monte Rosa, Porta Venere. On the ferry ride, you can see these houses up on the hills. Here's an evidence. Here's evidence of a water slide or water causing a landslide. As you approach Port of Venere, there's this ancient abbey out on this point. After you round this point, you uh, end up in a bay where there's tons of uh, sailing boats. It was a beautiful day for sailing. Sky was clear, just a little bit of a breeze. Here, uh, Robbie and Carol, they're waiting uh, down by the dock for the uh, ferry to take us back to Monte Rosa. It was a great trip. Most of all, it was having fun with the people. I had not spent this much time with Robbie, probably since I've been married. Carol came over and joined us, and uh, we had a great trip to Porta Venere, and then she left for Naples and Rome. Alessandro was a great host. He did everything for us. Pico was fun to be around. Patty and I had a great time. We all had a great time. We only got in one political argument the whole time, and that was about gun control. So it was a great trip, and can't wait to make it back.